but yeah, you've got plenty of experience starting it, so. Then you have a minute, right? You know it. Apparently there was an earthquake in Seattle when one guy made a touchdown in 2011. And the big game is tomorrow night, so they're waiting for earthquakes up there. <laughs> I know it. So when I heard that, I rewrote it. I said, oh my God, I gotta get rid of this other stuff and I gotta tell the story about Seattle Seahawks against Detroit Lions. I'll make it quick, though. And when I looked at the selfie here on the other side in the window, it was so cool. <laughs> oh, cool, nice. So I got a really cool selfie with you DJing in the background. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna okay, okay, okay. Um, do. I gotta do this. Oh no, you know what? I'll just do this next. You're gonna be on three. Yeah. And that comes from their album, Flying Microtonal Banana, came, uh, comes out on ATO Records. We heard the fall, L.A., and you're all caught up. What time is it? I feel like I know what time it is. It's time for an earthquake minute. Take it away, EQ guy. What's going on this week? Well, quite a bit, actually. On Earthquake Minute today, this just in. They're installing sensors to measure the earth shaking during Saturday's Seattle Seahawks game against the Detroit Lions there in Seattle. This after they first noticed the ground shaking following a Marshawn Lynch touchdown run in 2011. And so far they've actually um, been watching today. They've had a 5.1, 4.3, and 4.6, 300 miles northwest of there up in that very shaky islands region that uh, butts up against Seattle. And then uh, so watch for some big plays and possible big earthquakes for Seattle, too. Hey, we're in hot water in Peru, Jag. Did we oh, talk about this last week? Ouch. Somewhere along the line that starts south of Peru, it goes directly across Aqua Caliente. I think we discovered this after last week's show. That means hot water in Spanish or something. Isn't it something like that? Something like that. It means that, the yeah. water is hot up there. So we're in hot water, and there's earthquakes uh, coming. So keep watching for Peru on January 9th. That'll be Monday. That is the day I actually predicted. It's been enough time. They're due for one. Seven Richters with the full moon on January 11th and 12th. That's Tuesday and Wednesday. And also along with that, California and now the Seattle region too. Could be a lot shaking. Full moon's coming up on Wednesday this week. Something could shake. Be prepared. And I am the EQ guy. Hey, thanks for the, the, the awesome info. Yeah. And it's like probably Whidbey Island up there, up there by the um, Seattle. A couple of them. There's yeah. Vancouver Island, oh, Queen oh, Charlotte right. Island. Well, you're from up there. You know all the islands yeah, and, kinda, yeah. and all of that. So be watching up there. I wish I knew everything. Could be an earthquake. And then uh, we should buy foot, an foot, island. some football too. We should buy an <laughs> island and turn it into an earthquake theme park. Wouldn't that be yeah. fun? That is one of the EQ guy's dreams, yeah. to buy a big island all out there somewhere out in the Pacific and yeah. uh, live out there. Wouldn't that'd that? Be, that'd I think that's great. everybody's dream to live on, uh, on an island I'm like that. I'm not sure about everybody. We've yeah. got a whole lot of people who still live here And there in are a lot of people that do that. Yeah, a and lot I guess of it does feel like an island out here on the Isthmus. I suppose there are some <laughs> people that dream of living in Madison, Wisconsin. Yes, yes. How, how sweet it is. How sweet uh, it's it beautiful is. out there, too. You can't ask for more than five I know, degrees. You could, you could actually <laughs> take a deep breath and feel yeah. all your lungs. Every single last part of it. Hey, you are listening to WORT 89.9 FM and WORT HD. I'm the real Jaguar, coming at you every Friday afternoon. A couple things I didn't get to. A 